Patnaik News. Although the government has refused to budge on its stand on regulation of school fee, private schools remain defiant. They say the government must reconsider the fee regulation and say the current fee recommendations are too low. The Federation of Association of Private Schools today met and decided to appeal to the Justice Govindarajan Committee to reconsider the fee structure. They have also unanimously decided to reopen schools on the 2nd of June, although a decision on the new fee structure is yet to be decided. We have to wait. We have to wait. It would be highly impossible for us to run schools on such a lower fees. We really don't know how these fees work. Fixed. For LKG it is 150 rupees, for UKG it's 500 rupees, for 11 standard it's again 150 rupees. So there's no uniformity, no slap rate or nothing is there. So it would be highly impossible for us to run the schools with this minimum fees. At least it has given us some enhancement of fees so that at least it will be make, make ends meet. If it had been at least such a fees would have been better. We are highly not satisfied with the fees fixed for us. And so all of us are going on an appeal to the Govindrajan committee. Well, life without vision sounds difficult and discouraging, but we meet a blind couple who well lead the path rather than hold a stick and wait for help. Mr. and Mrs. Alphonse in HNI Stambaram lead an inspiring life. Sarasu is cleaning the rice before she cooks. The insects don't get to cheat her even though she is blind. Yes, 100% blind. By just weighing the water and the rice, Sarasu ensures she and her family eat hygienic food. So skillful she is at every other household work that she doesn't have a maid for help. Normal pandra mare pandla mare ando mana prachne kadeyade. Blind people na pan pannano ando kastan la kadeyade. Normal yappadi pandra mula adhe da yengloo de yado. Sarasu and Alphonse, both completely blind, met 12 years ago. The two fell in love before they married. Ever since, they have not taken any help from neighbours or extended family. Perhaps a reason why their nine-year-old son, Isaac, is not visually impaired. I'm on the train season, and I'm on remote bus, and I'm on the CD, and I'm on the way over. I'm on the train, and I'm on the way over. I'm on the way over. An NGO that supports the visually impaired, Nethro Diya, provided a loan for Sarasu and Alphonse when they needed it for getting a rented house. But even that, the couple has paid back. Simply because their self-sufficiency didn't give space for charity or sympathy. Life has always been colourless for Sarasu and Alphonse, but their outlook has had more shades of grey than black. It could do with a little more colour though, from with a little help from the government and the people they encounter in their daily lives. With camera person Devraj, Pratiksha Ramkumar for NDTV Hindu. Well, in another choppy day of trade, the benchmark index has swung between positive and negative territory several times before closing just above the flat line. Shakti Patra tells us what this indicates. It probably indicates that uh, we are in a pure day traders market, uh, no clear trend in the market. Uh, every time we go close to 5,000, bulls come and defend that, uh, supports at 5,000 clearly intact. But every time we go to 5100 or higher levels, there's intense selling pressure which uh, pushes the indices lower. So as of now, we are stuck in a range, 150 point uh, on the Nifty, as has been the case for the last many months. And uh, unless we break below 5000 or take out 5150 on the way up, probably we will be stuck uh, in this kind of a choppy market for a few more days to come. Nifty intraday today, we had a slightly low opening, then uh, sideways for the first two hours of trade. But after that, uh, we got a clear uptrend uh, almost for one and a half hours, Nifty making its intraday high at 51.05. But the moment we hit 5100, there was enough selling in the market that uh, pushed it lower. Finally, uh, Nifty ended the day just five points higher, marginally in the green, but holding on to the round number of 50.50. What uh, went higher for the second consecutive day, the capital goods pack, uh, Bharat Earth Movers, LNT, Punj Lloyd, big moves over there. LNT broke above its 200-day moving average yesterday, had a follow-through move there, 3% uh, higher. Quite a few brokerages have uh, upgraded the stock. That this place, after a big underperformance for months, is now ca playing catch-up. On the way down, you have similar names, metal stocks. Uh, this has been the big leader over the last one year. But uh, in the current leg of the market over the last 15 days, metal stocks have been the big uh, underperformers. Jindal Steel, uh, big cut on that. Sesa Goa had a big up move yesterday, gave back almost everything today. Uh, the other pack which lost more than uh, half a percent in trade was the realty pack, not the big cap stocks, but smaller names like uh, Orbitcorp or uh, 
Anandraj Industries uh, lost between 2 to 3 percent in trade and uh, that again tells you that high beta is uh, not where the game is uh, in this kind of a market. We had a new listing today uh, that uh, had a really wild move. Tarapur uh, Transformers uh, was doing nothing till about 11 30 in the in the morning but after that had two wild swings one big up move all the way back almost 200 bucks a share and then crashed uh, to close finally 25 percent below its uh, listing price uh, but uh, in the market as i said uh, the supports at 5000 are intact but every time we go to about 5100 there's a lot of selling which uh, pushes the indices lower so as of now we need to probably brace ourselves for a bit more of choppiness and sideways trade well, time for us to slip into a short break. Coming up on the other side, we meet one of India's busiest cinematographers who makes a comeback into Hollywood after five long years. Stay with us.